Greetings. My name is Dow Barnes, a.k.a. Smooth B. <laughs> and I've had the pleasure, honor, and blessing of knowing the diabolical one, Bismarck E, for over 35, 36 years, you know. And it's interesting that, and I know all of you can relate to this, through pain of what we're experiencing, whenever I think about biz, I can't help but smile, man. Like, <laughs> cause there's so many memories in that in that space and span of time. Um, I got to shout out to Cutmaster Cool V, man. Before I go into this story, we got a lot of stories, so I'm I'm a, I'm gonna keep it quick. I'm a, I'm a, but I'm gonna give y'all one because it's like audibly. I can hear Biz. I little. It's like I can hear him saying, "Tell him smooth." All right, so I'm gonna tell y'all one. 1987, the place Elizabeth, New Jersey. Bismarck and Cool V's crib. All right, I call that the house of hits. I never been to Hitsville in Detroit, but cold chilling house of hits. Biz and Cool V spot, and of course Marley spot. Shout out Marley, love you. That was where it was going down. So, let me set this up for you. A couple of days before this, we were hanging out in Latin quarters, <laughs> and you know, at the end of the night, Biz was like, "Yo, I'm gonna call you. I want you to come out to Elizabeth." So I'm like, all right. A couple of days go by. He hit me out the blue, like nine in the morning. Yo. I'm like, yeah, hello? He like, it's Biz. Come out to Jersey. So at that time, I'm not driving. So I'm like, Elizabeth, New Jersey. We talk, He's like, get on the train. I'm like, I'll meet you on 34th Street. So I get up. And I go down to 34th Street Penn Station. And uh, Diggo Biz, he, he, <laughs> he come upstairs out the terminal. Dookie rope on. <laughs> I'm like, this is ill. So, all right. So we jump on the train, jump on the path train. Boom, 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 boom. We get out to uh, get out to Jersey. Cool V and, the, you know, he there. We bugging out. We come up in the kitchen. We kicking it. He go, yo, let's go to the store. So, all right, bet. So we go to the store, and anybody know Biz, Biz had the spirit and the magic of a child. Like, he knew how to stay in tune with that inner child, which is the blessing and the beauty, right? <laughs> now, check this out. <clears throat> so we go in the store. He start walking through the aisles. Walking, Yo, listen, get your cereal. Get what you want. I'm like, all right. So I get a box of Captain Crunch. He like, and make sure you get two. Cause you can't, no. I get my own cereal. Vaughn gets his own cereal. And you have, get two boxes. And I let everybody know that's your cereal. Don't touch it. So I'm like, I bet. Get the two boxes of cereal. I think I got Captain Crunch and some Fruity Pebbles. I bet. Now we walk through the aisle. Yo. Just Pop tarts. So I was like, all right, bet I get some pop tarts. He gets some pop tarts. Now I'm feeling like back in the days. I, at that point, I hadn't eaten Captain Crunch and pop tarts or nothing. So I'm like, yo, this is crazy. I bet. So he gets back to the crib. He had this mixer where he could sample beats on the mixer. He press a button and it samples, right? So he making beats and freestyling, coming off the top of the head, and we just bugging out, and I'm spitting something, and he's like, say that again. And I said, all right, oh, yeah, yeah, right? So we bugging. And then I wish I could remember exactly what he said, because Biz used to drop all types of gems. He'd just come off the top of his head, and he hit you in your head if you're paying attention with something profound, but it'll be in a simple fashion. So he said something, it was like that. It was like on some old Maharaja, some ghetto, ma hip hop ghetto Maharaja slash Osho tip. Like, 
<laughs> something profound, but he said it in a simple way. <laughs> and I was like, yo, dude, wh what did you say? And he was like, so and so and so and so. Like it was matter of factly that you would have had to read 25 books to get that gym. And he was like, so and so and so. And I was like, yo, dude, that's, that's ill. He said, smooth. And I quote, I know things. I'm a genius. I just look this way. What? What? <laughs> Biz said, I'm a genius. I just look this way. Man, I love you, Biz, man. And I say that to say that at that very moment I learned not to take myself too serious. Biz had that innate gift, that ability to not only bring joy to so many and love and laughter, he could snap on you and make you laugh at the joke that he said about you. The joke's on you and you laughing. Yo, man, I love you, Biz, man. You know, and, um, but he, he, he let me know, man, like, life is real and we go through these different things, but don't take, he could, he could, he could make fun of himself. You know what I'm saying? But he knew he was a genius, though. That's the point I'm trying to make. Biz was highly intelligent, man. We love you. Come on, Biz, man. You already know, man. This is just a chapter, baby. I love you, man. Shout out to Cool V, man. Shantae, Flyta, Kane, Wally B. My man Backspin, you know. Um, your little brother too, Vaughn. I ain't see him in so long, man. I know he ain't little no more, grown. But listen, man, I love all of y'all, man. Peace and blessings. I and um, that's it. I love y'all, man.